Differential pressure transducers compare the pressure in one space to the pressure in another space. The difference between the two spaces is called the differential pressure. Low differential pressure is typically expressed in inches of water column, millimeters of mercury, or pascals. The space that you want to monitor is always plumbed to the higher positive port. The space you want to reference that against is plumbed to the low or negative port. There are two kinds of differential pressure ranges, unidirectional or bidirectional. A unidirectional pressure range starts at zero differential pressure and goes to some positive pressure, like zero to five inches of water column, for example. A bidirectional pressure range starts at a negative pressure and goes to some positive pressure like negative 2.5 inches of water column to positive 2.5 inches of water column, or plus or minus 2.5. The output of our low differential pressure transducers is typically 4 to 20 milliamps, or a voltage output such as 0 to 5 VDC or 0 to 10 VDC. The pressure transducer gives a linear and proportional output as pressure is applied. So for example, a unidirectional pressure range of 0 to 10 inches of water column with a 4 to 20 milliamp output would output 4 milliamps at zero pressure, 12 milliamps at 5 inches of water column, and 20 milliamps at 10 inches of water column. If the unit is a bidirectional range like plus or minus 5 inches of water column and 0 to 5 VDC output, the unit would output 0 volts at negative 5 inches of water column, 2.5 volts at 0 inches of water column, and 5 volts at positive 5 inches of water column. The mounting orientation of the unit is also something to be mindful of. Low differential pressure sensors can be affected by gravity if mounted in an orientation that is different than the one they were calibrated in usually perpendicular. This offset can usually be adjusted using the zero adjustment potentiometer on the transducer or tear it out with the BAS program. For critical environments, the space being monitored can be a positive, negative, or neutral space. The user determines what kind of space is monitored with the alarm set points. A positive room will have an alarm set point slightly above zero differential pressure to some greater positive pressure. A negative pressure room will have alarm set points from less than zero differential pressure to a deeper negative pressure. A neutral room will have the high alarm set point in the positive pressure range and the low alarm set point will be a negative number. If the unit seems to be reading the opposite of what is expected, check that it is plumbed correctly. The space to be monitored is plumbed to the high port and the reference space is plumbed to the low port. If the output seems to be twice or half of what it should be, check the range of the unit. Is it bidirectional or unidirectional? If your unit is not alarming, Make sure the unit is not in standby mode. If you have a negative room but the display is indicating positive room, check the alarm set points. Make sure they correspond to the proper kind of room 